Blood Diagnosis App can detect diseases. Adim has developed an app and small lens add-on that allows blood cell analysis via a smartphone. The app, called Athalus, won a prize at a coding event held by the prestigious startup Hub Y Combinator. The team says it can detect diseases such as malaria and cancers in seconds through so-called predictive cell counting. But experts warned of the difficulty of reproducing the quality of medical labs results using just a smartphone. Users take a picture of their blood using the lens attachment, which is then sent to the app servers, and the results are then sent back to them. Team leader Tonight and said in his submission, for more than two centuries, cell morphology, or the practice of viewing slash analyzing a person's blood in order to diagnose conditions has been the primary way to approach medicine. Yet, despite the critical nature of blood analysis to the medical industry the process has hardly changed from its long, expensive form for 150 years. Mr. Tenton added that in rural areas, the tech will really shine, providing previously unavailable diagnostic skills through the power of artificial intelligence and computer vision. But experts in the field are not so convinced by the reality of using a smartphone to detect and diagnose. This app will create more confusion than alleviate anxiety, Dr. Amars Oftar, the director of transplant medical diseases at New York University's Langoni Medical Center. The major limitation for this approach is that most viruses require electron microscopic exams to see them. Using the example of the current outbreak of Ebola which has killed more than 800 people in Western Africa and is spreading partly through air travel Dr. Softar said that patients in the early stages of illness might not have large enough quantities of the Ebola virus in their peripheral blood to be diagnosed the threat of false positives or incorrect results was another concern. I've no problem with it in principle, but in reality, these need to be carefully calibrated.